My name's Dr Chris Sibley and I'm the lead researcher for the New Zealand Attitudes and Values Study. This is the first uh, video that I'm going to put up on the website for study participants, providing key feedback about some of the um, more interesting findings from the study. So what I'm going to talk about in this clip is research looking at how, um, how people's opinions about the term they would most prefer to describe New Zealanders of European descent might or might not relate to their attitudes toward New Zealanders of European descent. And this is research with my colleagues Carla Hokamo and William Hobart. And what we were interested in looking at in this study is, um, is answering the question of, well, do people who use Pākehā, does it reflect anything negative about their attitudes? Or perhaps does it reflect something positive about their attitudes? Now, in New Zealand, there seem to be four main terms that people use to describe New Zealanders of European descent. And there's a lot of debate about which of these terms may or may not be most appropriate. And the four terms that are commonly used are Pākehā, New Zealand European, Kiwi, and New Zealander. So the question we're trying to answer here is one of, is Pākehā used negatively? Is it a pejorative term? And by pejorative, I mean a term that's used with negative intent. So is that the crux of the argument about appropriate use of the term Pākehā seems to reside in this claim about whether or not Pākehā is used negatively and reflects some sort of pejorative or negative term, or whether it might just reflect a positive and more benign description of New Zealanders of, of European descent. Now before we get into the actual data on this, I want to talk briefly about some historical research on the meanings and origin of the term. How did this term Pākehā evolve? One theory suggests that the term evolved from a term referring to the white-fleshed turnip, which was introduced by early European settlers. Another suggests that Pākehā arrived, derives from the term Pawaka, which could be related to a possible insult. Yet another possibility is that Pākehā is an extension of the word Keha, or flea, which was presumably introduced by European colonials as well. However, the common consensus among academics and historians is that the term has a much more innocuous origin and tends to derive from words which all relate to the description of imaginary beings with fierce skins who might have come from across the sea. And so, really, it seems that the term Pākehā didn't have any historical negative basis. And the question now that we wanted to answer with the New Zealand Attitudes and Values study data is whether people that prefer to use this term, whether Māori or New Zealanders of European descent who prefer to use this term, differ in their attitudes to one another relative to those who might use other terms. So, if Māori, for example, use the term Pākehā negatively, then you'd expect that, that Māori who prefer to use that term might have more negative attitudes toward New Zealanders of European descent. Now, we did not expect that to be the case, but there's no data on this, and we wanted to test this out. Rather, what we expected was that for Māori, use of the term Pākehā probably results from a strong identification of oneself as being Māori because you're using terms from your own language and so it's probably got much more to do with how strongly you identify as being Māori and how important your identity as Māori is to you rather than having any sort of negative attitude or reflecting any sort of negative attitude toward New Zealanders of European descent. And the New Zealand Attitudes and Values Study provided an excellent way to test this out. What we expected for New Zealanders of European descent is that the use of the term Pākehā probably reflects a desire for some sort of bicultural or supportive relationship with Māori because if you're using a Māori term to describe your own identity and you prefer to use that term, then that's probably indicative of support for symbolic issues of biculturalism, like support for Māori language. So, our method, what did we do? Well, wave one, or time one of the New Zealand Attitudes and Values Study, 
surveyed 6,518 people. There are over a thousand Māori in the sample, 200 odd Pacific Nations peoples, 300 Asian peoples, and around four and a half thousand New Zealanders of European descent. So the sample's broadly representative of the New Zealand population. Now, the New Zealand Attitudes and Values Study contains a lot of different measures, and the measures that I'm going to talk about here relate to just a few small parts of the questionnaire. And this referred to the question where we asked people, which term do you prefer to describe New Zealanders of European descent? And people could tick as many of the following boxes as they wanted. New Zealander, New Zealand European, Pākehā, Kiwi, or other, in which case we asked people to specify the term they most preferred. In a separate section of the questionnaire, we also asked people simply to rate how warm they felt toward each of the following groups. And of interest here are the ratings of people's warmth toward New Zealand Europeans as a group and toward Māori as a group. And so Māori who are rating warmth toward Māori are rating warmth toward their in-group, toward their own ethnic group. And New Zealanders of European descent who are rating warmth toward New Zealand Europeans are rating warmth toward their ethnic in-group. And they're also rating their warmth toward one another. So this provides us an excellent way to look at possible differences between how warm you feel toward your own group versus how warm you might feel toward other groups. So, looking at the data, well first, this, this table here, what it shows is the proportion of the population and the proportion of people in different ethnic groups that preferred each of the terms to describe New Zealanders of European descent. So what we see is that across the entire sample, about 14% of the population endorsed the label Pākehā. About 25% of the population endorsed the label New Zealand European to refer to New Zealanders of European descent. And by far the most popular term is New Zealander. Amongst New Zealanders of European descent, roughly 12% prefer to use the label Pākehā. And 30% of Māori prefer to use the label Pākehā. So support or use of the term Pākehā is actually reasonably low overall, even amongst Māori. So what predicts the use of this term? What this graph shows is the extent to which Māori and New Zealanders of European descent felt warm toward one another. So this is Māori people's ratings of their warmth toward New Zealanders of European descent and New Zealanders of European descent's ratings of warmth toward Māori. And these bars are split depending on which term people most preferred to describe New Zealanders of European descent. So looking first at the responses of Māori on the left side of the graph, what you see is that Māori expressed consistently high and very warm positive attitudes toward New Zealand Europeans, and that it didn't matter what term they preferred to describe New Zealand Europeans of those four options, they expressed consistently high levels of warmth toward New Zealand Europeans regardless. So this answers our first question. Māori who use the term Pākehā are just as warm toward New Zealanders of European descent as Māori who use a term like New Zealander. And again, Māori express very warm attitudes toward New Zealand Europeans overall. Looking at New Zealand Europeans in contrast, the average level of warmth toward Māori that New Zealand Europeans have is a little lower overall. So New Zealand Europeans are slightly less warm toward Māori than Māori were, were toward them. Although both groups are expressing reasonably high levels of warmth overall. And one really interesting thing about this graph is that what it also shows is that if you're a New Zealander of European descent and you describe yourself as Pākehā, then that's highly predictive of you expressing more positive, more warm attitudes toward Māori. So, to sum up the data on this slide, what it suggests is that for Māori, use of the term Pākehā has nothing to do with their attitudes toward New Zealanders of European descent. They're warm toward New Zealanders of European descent regardless, whereas for New Zealand Europeans, 
those who use the term parking hire express warmer attitudes toward Māori, which are almost as warm as Māori's attitudes, as Māori people's attitudes are toward them. What about in-group warmth? Well, here you see ratings of each ethnic group's warmth toward their own group. And what these data show, looking first at Māori, is that those who preferred to use the term Pākehā expressed much greater levels of warmth toward their in-group, toward Māori as a group. So it looks like the use of a, of a Māori term, a term in Māori language, is broadly reflective of feeling more warm and positive toward your own ethnic group if you are Māori. And for New Zealanders of European descent, use of the term Pākehā had no effect on ratings of New Zealanders of European descent's warmth toward their own group. So again, it looks like New Zealanders who, of European descent who use the term Pākehā express warmer attitudes toward Māori, and Māori who use the term Pākehā also express warmer attitudes toward Māori. And importantly, we've answered our question, is Pākehā used pejoratively? Does it relate to any sort of negative evaluation? by Māori toward New Zealanders of European descent. And our data clearly show that it does not. It's about po feeling positive. So, to summarise, the central question which this research tried to answer was whether or not the use of the term Pākehā by Māori might reflect some sort of negative attitude, whether it might be used pejoratively or as an insult. And we found no evidence whatsoever for this. Rather, Māori who endorsed the term Pākehā tended to view their ethnicity as a more central part of their self-concept, and Māori also expressed highly positive, warm attitudes toward New Zealanders of European descent, regardless of the label that they preferred to describe them, whether it was Pākehā, New Zealander, New Zealand European. What it seems is that for Māori, use of the term Pākehā is indicative of positive in-group cultural engagement. And including, and this includes the use of terms in one's own language and has little or nothing to do with our group attitudes. Well, what about New Zealanders of European descent? For New Zealanders of European descent who self-labelled as Pākehā, who preferred to use the Māori term to describe their ethnicity, um, they expressed more positive attitudes toward Māori than those who self-labelled as New Zealander, New Zealand European or Kiwi. So for New Zealanders of European descent, using the term Pākehā seems reflective of positive attitudes toward Māori. Now, there's one additional finding in this study which is rather interesting and which warrants a brief comment here, and that is that we also found no evidence for that a preference for the national category label New Zealander might reflect any sort of particular syndrome of negative attitudes toward Māori. So there's been some suggestion in the literature that people who prefer to self-label using a national category label rather than an ethnic category label like New Zealand European or Pākehā might be doing so perhaps to mask ethnicity entirely. And we found no evidence that using a national category label relates to any sort of negative attitude toward Māori either, which is important because it counters a claim that's been made by some people in a few cases in recent years about the possible negative connotations of using the term New Zealander. And we found no evidence for that either. All right, thank you for your time and thank you for participating in the New Zealand Attitudes and Values Study.